Hello, David and Amy. Hope all is well. Okay, so this screencast tutorial is going to be for the purpose of showing you guys how to add or revise any text content. Also, how to upload or add imagery and how to create and add a new page and add it to your menu up at the top. Um, if there's any other specific things you guys want to know how to do, then I can create separate videos. I, I don't want. I want to keep them, you know, not long, so you don't have to shuffle through them every time to find how to do one specific thing. All right. So um, let's just start. I know you guys said you had a little bit of WordPress experience, so I will also be emailing you guys logins for each site. I'll try to keep them all the same, so it's easy. Um, so once you get that. You basically scroll down to the bottom of the site and I added this office login button. We could rename that, by the way, call it whatever you want to protect it or hide it. Um, so you click on office login and it prompts this WordPress uh, login window. So mine's already in there. I'll use my password for now. And if you click this remember me button, you'll, you'll never have to retype it in because I will apologize. The passwords are kind of long and a little crazy just to protect the sites from getting hacked because they do get hacked sometimes so anything you can do to prevent that helps a little so I'll send you you know a long password and then you can just hit remember me and then just hit log in and then once you log in um, basically this is what the WordPress dashboard looks like you know you have this side panel and um, also when you're navigating the site you'll know that you're logged in because this, this black WordPress band will always be at the top of the screen so you can see it's there. Um, and if you want to get back to the dashboard, you go up to the top left, click on Dashboard. And really, this is all the tools you'll be using. But mainly, you guys will probably be only living in three of these tabs out of all of these. It'll be Media, Pages, and well, really, that's probably it. Um, media, Pages, and maybe Gallery. So. Let's just dive in. If you let's just say you wanted to add some or revise some copy to the story page, um, best way to do that is just go to the page. You can get to it through the dashboard as well, but I like to just go to the page, click on the story, and then hit edit page. Um, you could also get to all of your pages by clicking on pages. Now you'll get the full list. But for me, I've always found it easier to navigate just right from this bar at the top. So yeah. When you're when you know you click on the page you want to edit. Now we're on the story. Just click edit page, and you know you'll see the interface sort of looks kind of like Microsoft Word. Um, you have like a bold icon, an italic icon. Um, I personally, there's two tabs you can work in. There's visual, which I'll click on now, and then there is the text mode. So you can see visual has more stylizing already. Like you can see this first um, paragraph was indented. Um, if you can, you know, it's tempting to use visual though, but I find that things sort of get messed up. You know, another name for this, they call it the WYSIWYG tab. It's what you see is what you get. And you do get more icons. You know, you can change the color of things. Um, so if you want to use that, you can, but I will warn you that things do get messed up. And if they do, um, there's a revisions tab so you can always revise it's like a history tab I'll actually turn that on now so you can see like how many times I revise this page so you can always revert back like an hour a week you know if, if you mess something up so if that's the case and you want to use the visual tab that's fine so let's just uh, make a change here so let's just say you wanted to add a paragraph um, I'm at the bottom here I'm just going to click and type in add So I just added the words, literally add paragraph. So once you add that, if you want to save it out, you just have to hit update. Also, after you hit update, if you want to push this live, go up here and click on flush cache. Um, cache is just there to save you time with loading. I'll explain that more if you want. But it basically, if you don't see the change being made, if you if you empty your cache, it'll it'll clear through. So now. If you want to see the page on the front end, just click on View Page, 
and you'll see our change was made. It says add paragraph at the end. Now let's erase that real quick because it's live. So you'll hit, I'll hit edit page, and then I'll remove that. So select it, hit delete, and then hit update. So you can see by default it went back to this text tab. The text tab shows HTML. Like you see how it shows block quote and then block quote end tag. So any sort of code that starts has these brackets and then it has a slash to close it off. So if you view this page up on the front end, you'll see what that's doing is giving it this stylized, you know, with the line and the indent, which I thought was a nice look. Um, so if you go back to edit page at the top here, you'll notice that in the visual in the visual tab, it does show it indented. And like if you want to, let's just say, um, this icon here gives you more tools too. It's called the kitchen sink icon. Um, let's just say you want to make 50 hours. This, these words here are a different color, and you make it orange. So you can see the visual tab gives you a closer representation of how things look on the front end. But again, it's a little dangerous to use. Um, I've noticed I've had people say that their code sort of broke apart. Because what it's doing is it's writing code on the back end. So here, let's just if you look at this 50 hours plus, and then you click on text, you can see what it did. It added color heck like you know this is a color code in HTML and it, and it surrounded that so even though it's a little more intimidating to look at this kind of stuff in the text mode if you can try to stay in there or at least you know when I would recommend that once you want to hit save if you're going to use the WYSIWYG or the visual tab um, before you hit save go back to text and then hit or so, not save really update rather sorry hit update here um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that so I'll remove it just from the code wise in the text tab because uh, I don't want to save that obviously. And um, I'll go ahead and hit update again. And so really that's it. I just showed you how to add or revise any text on any page. Um, the home page, it's um, it's the same thing basically, but I do I did want to point out one thing. If you want to make a change to this copy on the home page, if you hit edit page. All I did was these are called content blocks, so it's separating out things so it's easier to find. Um, the only downside to that is you don't get some of the icons like bold and italic, so you'll have, that's why you have to memorize those uh, codes that wrap around it. Um, but basically, if you hit edit here, these are your three featured boxes. Um, and it, it did write code, so I could send a separate video on how to add those if, if you guys want to add or remove one. Um, but here, let's just say this first block, you see a little bit quote. If you want to change that quote, it's right here. Now you see there is some code. This code here is giving it a color. You know, six zeros is black. And then this is the end code. If you remove that, it'll, it won't close out your color that's making it black. So if you want to make a change to this, just stay within this bracket and that bracket, and you'll be fine. Um, if you want to change it. So you'd basically just be editing this stuff. And um, with these content blocks, you have to hit save twice. You'll hit save once here, and then you'll hit update here, and then again, flush cache. Um, so this tab we named announcements. So if you, you want to actually, it's probably an important one because you want to maybe add announcements um, for the team. You'll just add them here. This H1 is a header, header one, and then this color code here is making it black. So you can copy and paste these codes that I've used. You can find them. If you like a style that I use, you can sort of, you know, you would take this whole thing, copy it, paste it, and then just swap out your content. If you see a stylization that you like and you're not sure how I coded it, like this code here is actually giving it those divider lines, a faded divider line. So here, let's cancel this. And if you go to view page, that's what these are. So if you ever want one of those faded, they fade out in the end, divider lines. Um, you could steal that little, it's called a short code. Um, you could steal that short code right from here. All right, and this code here is a return or a break. Um, and this code here, the div, starts it off and it ends here. That whole, That's centering the whole thing. So it's a line center. So yeah, that's the only thing with the home page. It has these content blocks. You might see those blocks on other pages as well. Um, now let's go ahead and add uh, an image. Um, let's just say you wanted to add an image to, let's go to the about page again, or the story page rather. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to,
go ahead and use the uh, the visual tab. Um, you know, again, you might find it easier. I just think it does cause problems sometimes, but we'll, we'll keep it there. And if, if there are problems, I can show you how to revise back to an hour or it's like an undo. So let's just say you wanted to insert an image right here. You have your cursor inserted on, on where you want the image to go. Then you hit add media. Now this is showing you the media library. This is all the photos that I've uploaded for this page. So if you want to take one that's there, if that works out, then you can. If you want to upload something from your computer or desktop, you click on upload files and hit select file and then navigate to wherever it is on your you know computer or desktop um, so here let's just uh, I'll just find a temporary image to add and then remove right. well here that's one of yours so let's just say you wanted to add a meltdown photo you have it selected you hit choose now you could actually stylize it right from here before it's inserted you could align it left so the text wraps around it so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to align it left and you could actually it gives you three sizes off the bat so you don't have to resize your image you could do full medium and thumbnail um, I'll do medium 200 by 300 and then you could actually add a link to it as well if you wanted to link to another site or another page you could hit you could enter in your link right there um, or you can have it linked to the actual image you're inserting and it will launch, launch it bigger once you click on it. So I'm going to put none for now. I'm going to go ahead and insert the image. Click on insert to, into page right here. And you can see it inserted. Now you can actually play with the sizing right from here. And you can see because I did a line left, it's wrapping around the text. Um, if you were just hit insert without an align, it would just, you know, this sentence or these, these paragraphs would appear down here. So let's go ahead and hit update and you can see what that looks like. Hit view page. Um, and there it is. You can see it's nestled right in that paragraph. So let's go ahead and take that out because again, these are live. So I don't want anyone seeing that. And let's go back to visual. Select it and then just hit delete. There you go. And if it does, you don't see your change take place again, just go up here and hit flush cache and that'll flush it out. So that's it. I just showed you how to revise or add copy, um, how to add an image. And uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to add or create a new page. It's a two-step thing. It's creating the page and adding your content then adding it to this menu up here. So let's go ahead and go to pages. I'm going to hit add page up here. Then I'm going to hit test. I'm just creating a name for it. Um, if you want to hide, I would I would click hide title, and then make menu transparent. Now, right here I gave you I already you know pre-created those header images, so you want to have one just to match the style of the site. So if you want to make a new image, I'll send you a separate video for that. But let's just use one that we already have. I named them sub page one, sub page two, or here's the contact page header image. So I'm going to use that. So what, all I did right here was I'm stylizing the top of the page. You know, what's going to load there? We want the menu to be transparent so that the, the words, the, the navigation words, show the image behind it. So that's what that's what the, the transparent button did. So, yeah, hide page title because there's a title built in that I just didn't like it. We added our own titles in the image. And then transparent and then selector page slider. And if you want to add a new one, I'll send you a separate video for that. So let's just go ahead. Um, I am going to actually show you how to make a title too. So let's just say this page is called test. And if I want to make it large, you have six different sizes you can kind of see in there. So we'll make header one. You can see it's now it's large. And you can now if you go back to your text tab, you can see it wrapped in H1, close bracket H1 around it. So um, So I just added a sentence there. Um, so now I have a header and I have just a sentence. And if you go back to visual, you can get a kind of a somewhat representation of how it'll look. So let's go ahead and publish the page. When you have a new page, the first thing you do is hit publish, not save, obviously. So you're going to publish it. Now we're going to view the page. Now no one could find this right now because it's not in your menu. So now we want to add it up here 
to the menu. Okay, um, so to do that, you could actually get the menus right from here. Or the other way to get to menus is go going back up here to right here. Let me click out of that. So just so you launch the footer menu. So you can see which one that is. Footer menu basically has the office login and then just my little sign off tag. So you don't want to add the menu there, obviously. So you want to go back to main menu, hit select, and you can see it appears here, the page we created. Usually it goes by date. You just want to move it and then you move it over. You could even do a drop down within a drop down, which I think is confusing and just have it line up there. So if you want it to be a drop down underneath other projects, move it in that place, hit save menu, and then go back up here to visit site. And you'll see that now test is under projects as a drop down menu. So let's go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Menu. If you want to remove it, you just open up the. Now I'm thinking you'll probably want to know how to create one of these header. Here, let's go to the team. Um, the header graphic, you know, like each page has its own graphic. Um, I'll send a separate video for that because I feel like I apologize. This video is probably already like. 10 minutes long. So just to keep them short, I, I guess I'll do these in segments. Maybe I could do another one on how to, um, I don't know, change the logo or change coloring in certain areas. Like you know, basically anything you want, I could just send you a tutorial on how to change or revise that stuff. All right. Have any questions? I'm always here. Um, stay tuned. I'll send this link in a YouTube video and I'll also send you your logins. All right. Thanks.